I'm Dr. Tash. Today we'll be talking about how you work out your menstrual cycle length. The reason why you want to know your menstrual cycle length is so that you know when you're ovulating. And if you know when you're ovulating, you know when to have sex, and that means you're going to maximize the chances of you falling pregnant. The menstrual cycle is a series of phases that the endometrium and the ovary go through. Essentially, the ovary releases an egg after having gone through those steps, and the endometrium, the lining of the uterus, has prepared itself to receive a fertilized egg. Part of the menstrual cycle is the luteal phase. That's the third phase of the ovarian cycle. During this phase, you've got something called a corpus luteum, which is in your ovary, and it's pumping out a really important hormone called progesterone. And what progesterone does is it nourishes the endometrium, the lining of the uterus, as well as nourishing the embryo. It's really important to have a good corpus luteum because without a good corpus luteum, you're not getting enough progesterone. And without that, pregnancy is unlikely to be successful. If you're serious about getting pregnant, you really need to know when you're ovulating. Ovulation occurs a couple of days before the luteal phase. So that really means you should be having sex in the days leading up to ovulation and on the day of ovulation. I recommend you keep a clear diary of your menstrual cycle length. And that way, over a few months, say six to 12, you can work out your average cycle length. Every woman is different. Now that you know your cycle length, you'll be able to figure out your luteal phase. And the way you can do that is by measuring your basal body temperature. Basal body temperature is your body's lowest core temperature, usually recorded in the morning after you've been asleep. Once you've measured your basal body temperature, over time you'll be able to see a pattern. And what happens is your temperature should rise after you've ovulated. And that temperature rise occurs in the luteal phase. That phase starts about two days after you've ovulated. It helps to know your basal body temperature because it'll tell you when you're going to ovulate. It'll help you plan when to have sex and to maximize your chances of falling pregnant.